Hey, what's up everyone? Maury Croson here from the Performance Lab of California. We're going to do another breakdown here today on LaShawn Merritt. Uh, he is the 400 meter Olympic gold uh, champion and thought that, that got a couple people that have actually um, asked to get his breakdown so I thought I would finally do it. One of the big things that I want to say to start this off is that there is a huge difference between how you want to run as a 400 meter runner compared to how you want to run as let's say a 60 meter runner and so understanding that it's all about efficiency really the longer your race ends up becoming um, is a key concept to understand when we're talking about um, becoming the, the best that you could be in, in your current race. So if you're running 100, it's much more about you know, being able to get to that, that really good acceleration and, and um, being able to um, get to that top end speed as fast as you can and then being able to uh, really not hold it for as long a period of time while someone like LaShawn Merritt, what he's trying to do is, uh, yeah, he does want to get to a top speed um, per se, but he really wants to be able to hold a certain speed for a long period of time and still have enough in the tank for that, you know, last 100 meters. And, and um, really, though, in this video, the big concentration is actually going to be on the curve because this seems like something that's super crucial, uh, or it is something that's super crucial when, when we're talking about a 400 meter race or something that's a, a longer run. So um, what LaShawn Merritt does that I think is absolutely awesome is his ability to really stay compact on, on these um, on these turns. So we can see him coming in. I um, mean, we're just gonna compare him to some of the other guys here. I mean, this this guy ends up being really close to him here. The guy um, is what in lane five. And so you can see how he his arms are kind of swaying all over the place. His legs are not as um, compact. I mean, he's landing in a pretty similar spot, but he's having to spend a lot of time on that right leg, getting that right leg all the way back across that transition there in his right leg is not as well. And this is LaShawn Merritt here. And we can see how precise he is in each one of his steps. He's not wasting any energy on each one of those steps. And really each one of his steps are, stand, are, are landing in about the same place as the step before. Um, in, in terms of we were just gonna draw a line straight through it, which I think is excellent as a, um, you know, as a 400 meter runner, because that's gonna end up being crucial. And then, you know, another guy that ends up being pretty close here is the guy up here on the top. And really what, what, he, what he's doing is he's losing that right leg. See how that right leg is really going out more to the side there, while um, LaShawn Merritt does a really good job of keeping it in uh, pretty closely. And I think it has a lot to do with how his body's leaning. LaShawn Merritt has a good a bit of a, of a lean here with that right leg um, coming through, while this guy may, maintains pretty much a, a pretty straight up posture uh, the whole time. So that, that lean does matter, especially when your right leg is coming through um, as you're sprinting. So that's an important thing to, to think about for all the guys that are, that are 400 meter um, runners out there. Now we're getting, getting a bit into his, uh, when he's running straight, you know, he, he's not going to be um, as frequent, right? So and his push is going to end up being much further back behind him. See how he's really reaching back uh, with each one of his steps, and so um, it's much more about the effectiveness of that push off here for all the the 400 meter guys, and then he does a good job of driving that heel right back up to his butt. So he does have uh, a good turnover, uh, but he's not doing you know as good of a job as like the Trayvon Bromels, Usain Bolt, uh, Andre de Grasse, really trying to drive that knee up, extending that leg, and then pulling back underneath. He still ha kind of has that out in front. Um, but you could see how that's such a big difference between a 400 meter runner uh, compared to a 100 meter runner where he's going to be much more um, just trying to get that leg down, working on effectiveness. But now he's going to push and really push much more horizontally rather than a as vertical. So um, that's an important distinguishment to make from the different types of athletes. Okay. Um, now coming back into the curve, what's amazing about um, LaShawn Merritt that I love is notice when his foot's landing here and how he does a good job of landing with that left foot on the inside and then it kind of rotates. Okay, again, we're, we're looking right here. So he lands and as he lands, that foot rotates to make it so now he could push off and, and um, allow that rotation to happen in comparison to, um, again, like the guy on the far outside. Notice how that foot stays pretty straight the whole time, right? That inside foot stays pretty straight. So that impacts how he's going to push off with this, how this right leg is going to end up pushing off. And you can see he pushes off and goes more off to the side. While when LaShawn uh, Merritt comes through, he's turning already with that foot. So now he's able to push and get that, that right leg to come back across better. Um, so then that landing becomes more 
more tight to the line. Okay, same type of thing um, here with how this guy's landing. Where I mean, you can see that he he is turned in a little bit, but look at how his body is. His body's way far turned over to the side here. So now this left arm is going to have to come all the way across which is going to rotate his body out to the side, which is making that ineffectiveness in terms of when he brings that arm back, right? See how he had, that's causing him to lose his arms because of how his, uh, how his lower body is interacting with the ground. Again, in comparison to LaShawn Le uh, Merritt, who's very compact. Each one of his steps are very, very tight. He's getting that good rotation there, but then the right foot doesn't rotate outside. It's almost facing the other way. It's facing inward, right? So now that's going to help that left foot come land, rotate, and then he's going to be able to push back off um, and continue that motion. So um, really an excellent job of being very, very uh, effective in each one of his steps. And you can see, you know, in, in terms of that whole overall race, how he's able to now, you know, now he gets to that last 100 meters and he has plenty of gas left in the tank. And now he's really starting to open up. And now he does a better job of getting that pull down. You know, he's reaching out, pulling back and trying to really um, finish this race strong uh, and, and able to access more of those sprinting mechanics, you know, really those 100 meter sprinting mechanics in order to, to finish off the race, uh, which is exactly what you need in order to be um, able to, to run as, as fast and effectively as you can is really being able to get that those legs out and extend and then be able to pull back. But, you know, there's an efficiency level to that. So there, that, that becomes very difficult to maintain for 400 meters, right? But you can maintain it for 100 meters. We see that with you know, a lot of the top athletes in the world. So, you know, LaShawn Merritt's trying to become, be efficient for the first 300 meters. And then once he gets to the end, he really is trying to open up um, and, and adjust the mechanics accordingly. So it's a very strategic, very artful type of race once you get more into, um, again, those longer 400 meters, 800 meters, all those types of, uh, uh, of runs. So, um, yeah, I thought this was very, very interesting to, to really break down LaShawn. I, I appreciate um, the, the recommendation here. Keep on sending the re recommendations. I'm going through. Um, I'm going to keep on knocking them out. If you have any questions, email me, Maury, M-O-R-E-Y, at yourperformancelab.com. Also, check out our online speed program. I think it can really help some of you guys out that are interested in becoming faster, looking into your mechanics, um, building a personalized exercise program to help you um, become faster. It, it's a... Uh, you know, to me, it, it's very, it makes a lot of sense, right? It makes, makes a lot of sense to be able to get both the mechanics training and also the exercise training to make it so you're going to become as effective as you can, as fast as you can. So, um, yeah, guys, looking forward to hearing from you, and we will see you soon.